this is fun little sports thing. I mean, I as many people, I like to read up sports news first thing in the morning. So I saw this headline. Former NBA player Josh Smith says LeBron James wouldn't have been able to dominate his era, which is an incendiary thing to say. So you click on it, obviously. But then when you click on it, it just says something has gone wrong. There's no there's no actual article there. Well, Fox News, come on, you can't tease me with a claim like that and then not show it. Why is it not there? Well, it's not there because it's absolute BS news that they fell for, which is hilarious for a few different reasons. So, like the claim is that blah, 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 LeBron James wouldn't have been able to do anything if Josh Smith Smith had been around. Well, there's two problems with that. First of all, LeBron James drafted one year before Josh Smith, as everybody knows, and I totally knew before today. But more importantly, they got this story from Ball Sack Sports on Twitter. You know, you where you go to get your news and store your balls, Ball Sack Sports on Twitter. You know, like, like we're surprised by that. Ball Sack Sports was pretty surprised by that because they tweeted a bunch of crying faces and I can't. Now, you might have known that they weren't a serious place for sports news because one of their recent tweets is banana pudding is one of my favorite foods. But Dan, no one at Fox can see through this. This is Fox News. We report, you decide. You decide if this is reputable <laughs> information and not like just mm-hmm. complete nonsense. I, I, I hope that someone thought this was Barstool and they're like, oh yeah, ball sack, same thing. Maybe. Sure. <laughs> That's probably what it was. Yeah, we, we report on banana pudding being a great food. You decide if it actually is. I personally think it's great. But that's just me, Dan, feel free to disagree. I, I've anyway. seen the audience numbers. I think it's their favorite food too. Oh my God, some form of uh, some form of pudding. Anyway. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.